person I feel most comfortable with in the entire world. And I think that that is my favorite thing about her. Her smile, her issues, just, just wonderful. Ooh, it's hot. That Miami weather really gets you, huh? That humidity? <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it. So we're in Paris and everything, and I'm like trying to, like in front of the Eiffel Tower, and I got like a little uh, monopod, you know, the ones that like, not monopod, the tripods, but the ones that grab on stuff. So I'm in the middle of a crowd of like, you know, 100 people, and like everyone's trying to push, and I'm like, I asked this photographer who has a full on like 5D with the full lens and everything. He's taking photos. You think he knows how to use a camera. So I give him a special camera, I rent it, full frame, looks great. He takes a picture, he's like, oh no, it's all blurry, I can't. He does it again, he can't figure it out. He tries a different angle, he's like, I can't figure out your camera. And it, it was literally set to auto, there was nothing to do. And he's just a photographer, so I figured he could do it. So that wasn't working. So then I go and I clamp the thing on myself and I put it on and like I run over. And oh, I missed the picture. Okay, so I run back and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just trying to get a picture. So like mid, like finally do it again, 10 second timer. I run down, get on my knees, and like mid photo is the only thing we have of me actually proposing, which is hilarious. But had I thought about video, that all would have been resolved really, really quickly. But, uh, but it was funny, the whole time around Europe, I wasn't like, we did a little trip around Europe and I wasn't sure where I was gonna propose. Like I, everyone was telling me to do it in France. I don't personally have that big of an affinity toward Paris, I think it's overdone. I wanted to do it in Amsterdam, which I think is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So we, we're going all over Europe and I have this big, big blue box I'm trying to hide from her everywhere. And it's just like this. I don't know how she didn't notice it the whole time. But uh, but yeah, so when we found it in Europe, I finally got down on one knee, the photo was just ruined. And I was like, you know what, it doesn't even matter. So I get down on one knee, I asked her. And her response is, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> like, like a good, it took her about a minute to realize it wasn't a joke and that it was a real diamond ring and everything so but uh but yeah we're, we're not normally the flashy you know you know pay attention to us sort of people so it, it's kind of it, it was very appropriate for us uh, the way it was done and dreams they rise 